The development of sustainable and smart cities is the objective of many nations all over the world, including Vietnam. In Vietnam, there are now around 30 provinces and cities which have implemented smart city projects. Meanwhile, the cities are facing many challenges. Inadequate urban infrastructure, failing to satisfy development needs, and the rapidly increasing number of vehicles. Within the city, roads are overloaded, while the public transport system is inefficient. There is also a shortage of resources for infrastructure, socio-economic and high-tech development. To address the above-mentioned problems, Viettel has proposed the establishment of an intelligent operations centre, which plays a crucial role in synthesising, leading and operating all the urban activities through data collection and standardization. Simultaneously, the center analyzes and handles data, providing in-depth reports, as well as determining and directing the urban activities to provide local authorities and agencies with tremendous support. The Intelligent Operations Center includes the following functional sub-centers. Traffic Monitoring and Control Center Public Safety Monitoring and Control Center Emergency Operations Center Information Security Monitoring Center Data Integration and Analytics Center Citizen Support Call Center Media and Press Monitoring Center Public Service Monitoring Center to satisfy the above-mentioned functional requirements, the Intelligent Operations Centre needs to operate on a strong, united software basis for monitoring and control, called Intelligent Operations Centre Platform. The platform was built on many 4.0 technologies, like IoT for connecting countless sensors and surveillance cameras, AI for intelligent video analytics, and Autobots that can perform auto-response to the majority of citizen questions. Finally, data analytics to create in-depth reports and forecasts that can help each system to make their decision accordingly. The most important is the centralized city operating system, integrated within the city's digital map, which can help us do the following. Managing resources, namely paramedics, fire department, patrol officers, traffic police and cameras planted around the city at geographic coordinates on the digital map. Providing information about traffic conditions, traffic density and the average speed of traffic flow on streets represented by coloured lines, green, yellow and red. Managing the warning of incidents occurring within the city area managing the incidents and coordinating functional agencies to handle the scenes. The next is the Video Data Management and Intelligent Video Analytics System, which allows video wall to display in grid layouts through integrating all of the city's cameras. This enables image data to be directly transmitted and videos from cameras to be paused played back as well as zoomed in and out. This system enables great efficiency analysis with considerable accuracy and high-speed processing. It can detect and extract information needed for monitoring and observing activities such as vehicle identification, license plate recognition, as well as detection of traffic light violations, traffic jam and accidents. Simultaneously, it has a face recognition system, monitors the crowds and detects intrusion into restricted areas. The third is the application of artificial intelligence in linguistics and big data analytics, which monitors information, security and safety, cyber media and press information, as well as providing search help and automatic responses for citizens. The last is Big Data Analytics. This system 
applies modern and advanced technologies such as big data and BI in integrating, analyzing, providing reports and statistics to assist city leaders in the decision-making process for socio-economic development. Details of specialized sub-centers are as follows. 1. Traffic Monitoring and Control Center. This center is the core unit in managing and coordinating the smart traffic system. It connects traffic camera systems, which observe intersections and key city routes. It also creates the integration of the traffic light control system and traffic violation punishment and monitoring systems as well as proposing indicators for traffic management, such as accidents and traffic congestion. It introduces smart cameras and GPS navigation, which help to analyze traffic volume at intersection, and thus adjust duration and frequency of lights in order to optimize the volume and minimize traffic congestion. Simultaneously, it provides information about vehicle density to assist traffic participants in choosing the most appropriate routes. 2. Public Safety Monitoring and Control Centre This centre integrates all of the city's cameras. Using intelligent video analytic techniques such as face recognition algorithms, which help search for any suspects and criminals. It is also capable of detecting many law violations such as mass gatherings, protests, fightings and intrusion into restricted areas. It can control public safety in multiple restricted areas, state and communist party headquarters, embassies as well as many crowded public places within the city in order to ensure urban security and order. 3. Emergency Operations Centre This centre integrates emergency response services for citizens into a single telephone number 112 instead of 113, 114 and 115 similar to the American Emergency Calling Service 911. It provides advanced functions such as identifying mobile subscribers locations displaying on the digital map and focusing cameras at the incident zone. Therefore, the center will be able to cover all information regarding the incident seen instantly. It supports functional agencies to track the incident location and optimizes routes. It also coordinates and monitors them to deal with the situations such as fire, to ensure the full utilization of resources within each city area. 4. Information Security Monitoring Center Viettel provides a general solution including all three elements. Network security solutions and standard information safety procedures created by Viettel together with a team of specialists in information and safety who are responsible for operating, monitoring, supporting and responding to incidents 24-7 for all of the city's IT information technology, such as LAN and WAN, data center, server, email system and specialized applications. The center provides real-time warnings about information security as well as tracing the sources of system hacking and current targets for hackers. At the same time, the center performs an analysis on all security information collected from network systems, servers, email systems, users' computers and applications. As such, planning the most effective preventative measures to maintain information safety. 5. Data Integration and Analytics Center 
This center collects data from different sources of centralized database systems, such as specialized applications and central systems, as well as many individual data files. The center performs cleansing, standardizing, and establishing data models for different fields and disciplines, as well as collecting statistics, graphics, and in-depth reports to support the city's decision-making process. It then publishes and provides socio-economic information for agencies, organizations, and individuals in accordance with the law. Six, Citizen Support Call Center. This center acts as an online citizen and tourist communication channel. This synthesizes all the requests and answers all the questions from citizens concerning urban socio-economy through communication channels such as the call center, mobile apps, and social networks. Using artificial intelligence combined with callbot and chatbot, it provides automatic responses regarding public administrative procedures, common general information, as well as redirecting the line to a consultant. The centre provides advanced call service, which allows transferring from consultants to specialists of departments, giving citizens more in-depth and flexible answers, thereby assisting the agencies in monitoring, managing and actively undertaking activities of tackling and answering citizen questions. Seven, Media and Press Monitoring Center. This center is in charge of monitoring all the online information and activate early detection of city-related information crisis. It gathers huge amounts of information with 1 million online newspapers, over 40 million Facebook accounts, more than 150,000 groups or fan pages, and all of the YouTube channels. It uses algorithms in both natural language processing and data mining, automatically segmenting words, correcting vocabulary mistakes, extracting key words and labeling words, thus capable of rating the content either positive or negative. At the same time, and if required, the center can inform every press agency and every citizen in the city about any information the city wants to publish or correct. Eighth, Public Service Monitoring Center. This center monitors and observes the operation of public services such as the provision of clean water, rubbish collection and treatment, the drainage system to prevent local flooding and the urban lighting system. By using IoT to connect sensor and surveillance cameras, every air and water monitoring station can be integrated with the IOC, allowing it to perform data analytics on the data received and evaluate service delivery at each location in the city. It measures citizens and organizations satisfaction levels, thus evaluating the quality of the services, as well as making decisions on providing services to serve and improve the citizen's life. In addition, the data center has an internationally standardized tier three and tier four design, which ensures data safety of the intelligent operations center with such systems as the network infrastructure, the source system, the cooling system, the fire alarm system, entrant management system, rack system, and surveillance cameras. Let's imagine the following situation to gain a clear understanding of how the Intelligent Operations Center works. When an accident happens in the city area, the center receives the incident alert and then locates it as well as displays the accident warning and location on the monitoring screen. At the same time, the system sends signals to functional agencies 
such as the fire department, ambulance station and police station. These signals provide details of the incident, directions and optimise the route to approach the scene, together with optimal calculation of the time needed to reach the site. The traffic centre also plans routes, sends signals to public transports, calculates traffic density and provides routing instructions to avoid the accident scene and thus reduce traffic congestion. Ultimately, it describes the scene and informs citizens and vehicles of the situation so that they can adjust their routes. These images indicate that the application of smart technologies in the operation center with modern, high-tech integrated equipment is a potential core solution to support city leaders in monitoring, directing and controlling urban activities, promoting economic growth and improving citizens' living and working environments towards a sustainable and smart city.